I want to touch on this about parenting. I want to touch this because I know that everyone is not knowledgeable. I don't care how much education you have, but you can be so far ignorant and unintelligent by the choices, word choices that come out of your mouth. Just be honest and say yes or no. It's easy to say no rather than give all the bullshit that comes with it. First question. How I know that you unintelligent if Chat GPT can figure it out and your ass cannot. How many of you all deny people of doing a a letter for them, for their job, for them getting a job. Sometimes they ask a, a, a candidate that may have a complicated background or not. It can be just a government job that requires uh, a letter of recommendation or to, uh, to for them to be employed. How many of you all rejected a person because you don't want to see them get further because that's basically what it is. It's either that you're jealous or you trying to suppress an individual from moving forward. That's not a smart idea. That's not intelligent to, to reject someone because they uh, may not qualify without recommendation letters. If a person just asks you to give them a character, a character letter or a, what they call a recommendation letter. They may say uh, uh, a letter to verify who they are. It does not disclose that it should not be a parent, a uncle, a aunt, a sister, a brother. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that a relative cannot. What is the best, who is the best person to give a recommendation is someone in your family. Because at the end of the day, your family history of the accolades outweigh and can help someone that may have in your family that may have difficulty in finding employment. So t explain to me this. Riddle me this. Just tell me. Do you think is jealousy or envy or do you, because um, it's not, uh, I'm trying to teach a person a lesson. You can't teach somebody a lesson when they've been struggling all their life or they made poor decisions. What you decided to be the greatest evil, not one of the evil, the greatest evil. That's just the bottom line. But let me be honest. The issue at hand is, is the parent have inadequacy because they wasn't a part of the child's life. Now that's adult. So instead of them being honest and saying, hey, I wasn't a good father. I wasn't a good mother. I wasn't a good parent. I don't feel comfortable in writing the letter because I missed over 30 years of your life. Even though I have come to know you in the last five years, because you had a son that became my grandson, then I can only go forward with the grandchild. Even though I've seen it clearly what you have accomplished all the past 30 years and snuck into the schoolhouse and watch you and listen to people talk about you instead of speaking up for you. I just choose to be an asshole, an asshole, and not be a man. That's just the point blank. I just choose to be an asshole and not be a woman with morals. That is the true fact that I don't want you to feel that you won if I write a character letter about you, even though I know what you have done and how your life has changed in your ups and downs, in your good qualities. Because those are the qualities that I lack. I lack all the good qualities that you have, no matter how many, many pitfalls you have had in life. On its own, 
A parent writing a support letter for her or his child to get a job isn't inherently biased. It is common practice for a parent to advocate for their, for their children, especially when they are younger or inexperienced. However, the content of the letter can introduce biases. Here's a breakdown, not biased. Highlight the child's relevant skills and experience. Provide specifics, examples of their work ethics and accomplishments. Offering information concerning their personality and lifestyle. The shenanigans that you should never put in a letter. Potentially is considered bias. Making exaggerated claims about their abilities. Relying on personal opinions rather than objective facts. Comparing child favorable by others or to others. Focusing on the child's background or connections rather than their qualifications. The key goal is to focus on their merits and credits, not your personal opinion, not your exaggeration, none of that.